So here's Terry Dici at VMworld 2008. What I'd like to do is show you a very quick demo of uh, our PC over IP technology in action. We have uh, uh, three demos that we weren't showing. Uh, the first is uh, HDTV. Uh, this is using a, a PC in the background with a GPU. Uh, this is to show the performance that's possible with Teradici's PC over IP capability uh, running on an HDTV display. We also have a Samsung demo. This is a, a new monitor that Samsung has integrated the Teradici PC over IP portal chip directly into the display. This is very uh, efficient and also uh, uh, space saving. At the same time, is is uh, highly uh, uh, responsive from a graphics perspective, showing 3D as well as uh, HD. Any graphics type. Teradici's technology is independent of the graphics being used. So we actually take the video that's coming out of the graphics card through the DVI interface. So we operate at a pixel level. And that allows us to remain independent of the codex that's being used. It could be DirectX uh, 3D, OpenGL, or any type of, of uh, codec for media, whether that's Macromedia Flash, uh, YouTube, Google, whatever type of video, uh, Windows WMV. And uh, by being independent of the codec, or independent of the system that's being uh, used on the host, whether that's a one-to-one -one workstation, a PC, or a virtualized environment. So we also have a virtualized display. So this is Teradici's PC over IP technology that's delivered in a hypervisor environment with multiple virtual machines. So we have six displays on this panel. Uh, each is hooked up to a desktop portal. Uh, these are desktop portals from uh, Devon IT. They incorporate Teradici's uh, PC over IP portal chip. Essentially, it is Ethernet in, display USB and audio out. There is uh, no operating system. Uh, no x86 processor and uh, no drivers. So it's a very benign device, stateless, and uh, it supports all graphics types, all USB peripherals, as well as uh, two-way audio. So you can do video conferencing. Uh, we support all types of USB, including uh, bulk transfer, interrupt, as well as isochronous. And so this is an example right here of Teradici's PC over IP technology running with a USB webcam and in a virtual machine. So this is a uh, on the server side, we have a Dell uh, Precision Workstation, an R5400. Uh, we took out the graphics card and replaced it with Teradici chips. So this is uh, running a single quad-core Xeon uh, with a hypervisor and eight virtual machines. So Ter Teradici's first generation of chips are one-to-one. -one. So one chip in the host, one chip on the desktop. And so we actually have eight Teradici devices that are integrated uh, into this virtualization demo. And as you can see across the displays, two here and six over here, we have uh, multimedia running in, in uh, most of them, as well as uh, some uh, showing some basic CAD capability. So here is a SolidWorks viewer showing some basic 3D uh, from a hypervisor environment. So you see it's a little bit a little bit choppy. This is due to uh, rendering the 3D in a CPU. So as soon as GPUs can be used in a virtual environment, we'll be able to get full 3D graphics that you can see on this uh, dedicated demo. So full 3D graphics performance and responsiveness, you know, how fast do you uh, want to manipulate the object, uh, but in a virtualized environment. Teradici is the only comprehensive solution with both hardware and software options for the flexibility IT need to address all user classes in an enterprise computing environment. A key factor here is VMware's license of Teradici's PC over IP technology that VMware will integrate into their VMware View products and jointly develop PC over IP technology with Teradici going forward. So IT can support all graphics, including DirectX and Vista Arrow, all media codecs, Microsoft as well as YouTube, Google, and any type of Flash, all applications, and all USB peripherals including webcams. Teradici's PC over IP technology is proven in the most demanding 3D applications today on both LAN and long-distance WAN networks. This is now being applied to virtual desktops.